Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway. Every person who prays there, every kid that learns about Islam, every youngster that memorizes the Quran, all of this and so much more can be on your scale of good deeds. Click the link and donate what you can. Burberry. Yeah, but it's fake. Sometimes in life things look, they don't look as they seem to be. Now, brother and sister, that's one of these things. It's fake. It's not real. I'm not going to go spend hundreds or thousands of pounds on a damn scarf. I was cold. I went to a place. They had this. I said, just give me a brother. I'm just cold. But with uh, Subway, the matters are the same. What's going on? The tuna that we've been eating may have been containing pork. They found pork protein and chicken protein and other elements, brother and sister, with 20 samples that they had. This is in California. And that's in America. If that's going on there, what the hell is going on here? Subway has been identifying, well, tuna as tuna, but we found out that it has these stuff in there. Now, as Muslims, that is devastating to us, let alone vegans, because vegans are very passionate about this issue as well. You know, they're going to be devastated. But as Muslims, we have a religious belief. It's not just here of animals being harmed in that way. What we're talking about is the hereafter. Brothers and sisters, this is why it's very important for us to be careful. Well, what we plan on doing with me and Zishan is to, uh, with our new channel, Dining to Jannah, is to visit Subway and ask them some serious questions and actually email them because this is very concerning. And I think till then, or I even think, I even think in the future, because we have a lot of halal options here in the UK, stay away from tuna sandwiches in Subway. And actually have a big question mark in anything else they do. That is all I have to say on the matter. And I will end with the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, of a man who puts his hands out and says, Oh Lord, oh Lord. And the Prophet said, this man, what he eats is haram, what he drinks is haram, what he wears is haram. How does he expect his du'as to be answered? Very important for us to eat haram, inshallah. Very important for us to eat haram, inshallah. Very important for us to eat haram, inshallah. You're done. You're finished. You're munafiq. And also, as much as we stay away from pork and all this kind of stuff, let's treat all other sins like zina, drinking alcohol and other elements of theft as, as disgustingly as we look at pork. Till next time, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Do not forget to subscribe to Dining to Jannah. We're going to keep you updated there because it's a food channel and this is very important for us. You, we will find out very soon, inshallah, what is really going on in Subway. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, the one who builds a masjid for the sake of Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. We want to establish an amazing masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the country of Norway. If you donate for the sake of Allah to establish this masjid, then He subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward, insha'Allah ta'ala, for every single person who becomes a Muslim in this masjid, for every single person who starts practicing the deen from the da'wah that we give in this masjid, when they pray their salawat, when they fast in the month of Ramadan, when they give in charity, every single good deed that they do, you will insha'Allah ta'ala get the reward for that. Click on the link and donate now for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And share the video, it's absolutely free and you will get extra reward for everyone else who participates in this amazing